This video presents the Enhanced Content and Drawing Storing in ARCHICAD. In earlier ARCHICAD versions, when only a limited area of a drawing was visible in any views or drawings, the hidden part was also kept in the background. If more such hidden drawings were placed in a view or layout, this could expand file size and decrease performance during file opening, saving, and auto-saving. Now ARCHICAD can handle these views and drawings in an optimized way, storing only the visible parts. Let's see it in practice. Select the drawing on the layout and open its settings dialog. If you choose the Manually Resized Frame option of the Frames Behavior on the Frame tab page, a new Crop Drawing to Frame checkbox appears. This checkbox allows you to store only the visible parts of a drawing. According to cropping, we distinguish two fundamental update types. The one is Auto and the other is Manual Drawing. If a drawing update type is Auto and you activate the Crop Drawing to Frame checkbox, an info icon appears next to it. It informs us that the drawing content outside the frame is currently cropped and the content of the cropped area can be restored after uncropping and updating the drawing. Let's see the drawing on the layout. As you can see, the dashed border of frame changed into dotted, indicating visually that this view appears with cropped content. For example, if you modify the drawing frames with Adjust Frame command, the drawing will be automatically updated to the newly modified frame as soon as you deselect the drawing. Let's see how this works with Manual Update Type. Open the Drawing Settings dialog again and select Manual Option. By unchecking the Crop Drawing to Frame instead of the previous Info icon, a warning is displayed, which can be read by clicking on it. This informs us that the automatic update is switched off for the selected drawing. To restore the cropped area, you must also update the drawing. Let's see how it appears on the layout now. After moving the frame, the area under the frame remains empty. If we now activate the update from the context menu, the drawing will align to frame, but also the content hidden by the frame returns to the project. Now activate the Crop Drawing to Frame checkbox in the Settings dialog. Again, we receive a warning that the automatic update is switched off. The area outside the current frame will be cropped and can only be restored after updating the drawing. Let's see this state in practice. Move the frame edge. If the update type is set to manual, an update to frame option appears on the drawing after frame modification. Click on this button to have the drawing updated to the frame. If the original content of the drawing is larger than the modified frame, the full update option will also appear. Click on it to update the area outside a frame to store the entire drawing in the project. You can select one or more drawings at the same time and activate the Crop Drawings to Frame command by right-clicking in the context menu. Or inversely, if we select already cropped drawings, we can reset them with the uncropped drawings. When selecting cropped and uncropped drawings at the same time, both commands will be available. The crop uncrop commands can be available under a document drawings menu as well. The crop status has been added to the drawing manager. It is recommended to switch the update type property. For this, right-click on the header and check its checkbox. Then arrange the two columns with drag and drop next to each other. This way you can easily control the update type and cropped state of the drawings. The cropping function can also be used in the Drawing Manager for the selected drawings with right-click in the context menu. Commands can be executed independently of whether auto or manual update type drawings are selected. In Manual Update Drawing, when you crop, a warning appears. Select Crop All to Frame to execute the command. When uncropping, the Information dialog from the Settings box will appear. If you are already familiar with the operation of the feature, check the Don't Show This Dialog Again checkbox. 
If you activate the Crop to Frame for embedded drawing, you will also receive a warning about that the cropped area can be restored only after re-linking the drawings to their sources. So you need to be careful when cropping embedded drawings because if you want to uncrop the drawing, you will have to relink it to refresh the part outside the frame. The Crop Drawings to Frame Uncrop Drawings commands are also available at the elements of the Navigator layout map. By selecting the top element of the layout book, execute the command is possible for the entire layout book or for the selected subsets, all drawings in it. Note, Crop, Uncrop, and Update command are available for drawings on locked layer and locked drawings as well. You can revert to the previous uncrop drawings method and use drawings as in the earlier ARCHICAD versions, where you prefer to keep the drawings cropped part. But don't forget, it can expand file size and decrease opening and saving performance.